Hi, this is Heath with BuildBox. In this video, we're going to take a look at using Creator. Creator is the simple way to create your first game in BuildBox. We're going to learn how to create a new game with Creator, how to preview our game for testing, and an overview of using the scene editor. When we start BuildBox, we first see the welcome screen. Click on Create New in the upper left, and we are greeted by the Creator window. This is where we begin creating our game. If we already have a title for our game, we can put it in here. We can also set some basic settings like orientation, or how we hold our device to play, how we score points in the game, whether we want multiple worlds to play through, whether we want to see a cutscene when we meet our goals in the game, and what menus we want BuildBox to generate for us. The gameplay settings allow us to choose from many different gameplay types. Let's choose Avoidance for our new game. When we are ready, click Create at the bottom. When we use a gameplay setting within Creator like we did with Avoidance, BuildBox will generate a simple game with a couple scenes to get us started. Let's play our new game. In the upper right is the Preview button. This will bring up the Preview window so we can see our game in action. To the far left is the Assets panel. Here are all the assets available to us to create our game, and where we would find any new ones when we add them. All the assets are listed in expandable menus for characters, game objects, game actions like power-ups and coins, effects including the new particle emitter, logic pieces, and labels. To the right of the assets panel is the scene tree. The scene tree lists all the items we have in the current scene. Selecting an item here will select it in the scene and we can hide it or lock it to avoid accidentally selecting and moving it while editing the scene. To the far right is the options panel. When we select different items in the scene, the option panel reveals the options for that particular item. Here you can adjust the properties of the item to behave as you see fit in your game. At the bottom of the screen is where we will find the different scenes in our game. Here we can choose which scene to edit and even duplicate a scene using D to continue building our game. Inside our new scene, we can design our level by moving objects around, duplicating objects using W, A, S, or D. We can also change presets of the objects in the Options panel to the right, and we can even add motion to these objects using linear velocity. We can preview just this scene for testing using the Preview Selected Scene button. So in review, we learned to create a new game, navigate the different panels within the software, learned how to test our game using Preview, how to duplicate scenes, and change the properties of objects in that scene. Thank you for joining us. Find more helpful videos at buildbox.com.